Hey everybody, welcome to Sky Lounge here to review some Lakers action as we lose 134 to 138 in overtime. I'm going to be honest with you boys and girls, I was out last night, was not able to watch this game, but was able to view the updates on the score app here. And as you can see, all the fucking statistics and shit of other sports in this game. And it's not a plug, I'm just saying. It's the tool I use. And what was really interesting about this game was, A, Lonzo Ball is going to be out for the next four to six weeks. So that's a bummer. And so we're going to be missing one of our uh, biggest defensive uh, assets to the team. And all throughout this game, it was just Lakers having this kind of dominant, really just dominant role in uh, controlling the game. Had a really good lead and just blew it up. It completely blew up after Alonzo Ball was really off the court in the fourth quarter, completely lost, and in overtime, just daggers to the heart. You know, despite the fact that Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram did really well, Ingram shooting for 21 points, uh, Kyle Kuzma 32 points, relatively doing well in the offensive department, just de defensively, we just, this is terrible, right? I mean, it's, it, it, it's an exaggeration, maybe, but simultaneously, I mean, keep losing games like this it's it's not it's not fun so a couple of nights ago you know if you recall the lakers beat the okc thunder in overtime and then a couple of days later we lose in overtime so life's all about balance right and the real balance of this whole idea of the houston rockets is you know it's just one guy james harden one guy but eric gordon eric gordon the guy who is i believe the fulcrum of that team actually doing well when they when they're when they're hot, and for Eric Gordon to you know thirty points, uh, five rebounds, four assists, speaks volumes. Absolutely speaks volumes. I mean, Harden will always go for like forty eight points and all this shit. He's having a remarkable world record season. All right, cool. But again, the team just collectively for the Lakers, you know, that defense was optional. And again, once Lonzo was out, the game was more or less over. And now the really concerning aspect about the Lakers right now is I believe LeBron is still probably what, a week or two out, I would imagine. And it just it just doesn't speak well right now. Uh for especially for Lonzo Ball. I mean this this persistent injury thing the last two years, it doesn't look great. And we're, I'm just hoping he doesn't you know, exacerbate his injuries during the healing process or anything like that, you know, and, you know, injuries, injuries are rough. Injuries are absolutely rough because you think you're better, but it just can pop up anytime, anywhere. And so hopefully these guys can, I don't know, man, they can get their shit together. I keep saying this shit. I keep saying the same shit over and over again, expecting different results. That's called insanity. But, you know, the realm of insanity is where we live as sports fans. So, boys and girls and Lakers Nation, what do I always say? Patience. Patience, boys and girls. We're still, I mean, we're, we're barely kind of halfway. You know, we, we just hit the halfway mark in the season a couple weeks back. And so, hey, just be patient. And hopefully the Lakers make it into playoffs. Boys and girls, follow me at the Sky Lounge and all links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily content. Now, fuck off.